Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I thought we'd make the Little Witch's broomstick. Now there's two uh, kinds of broomsticks we can make. This particular one, we actually use part of a skewer. Um, so if you happen to have a long like kebab skewer, I've got one here and I just trimmed it down to be about the length that I wanted to go through her arm, like so. So let's, we can measure it. We could, we could be professional and measure it. It is about just a little bit over three and a half. So three and a half inches would be a good length for that. So if you want to do the one that has the little wooden stick, which is this one, that's what I've done. I've um, used different bristles, different color bristles to determine which one was which. So this, haha, <laughs> which? This one has the little, um, the little stick inside. This one is more floppy, but it is all bands. So the one we'll do first is the one that is all bands, okay? So what are you gonna do? I'm using, I've got three different kinds of browns. I've got the Rainbow Loom Cocoa, I've got the Rainbow Loom Caramel, and then I've got a flesh tone, a skin tone, uh, beigey kind of band, uh, which is quite good for the bristles if you want to differentiate between the different bristles. But we will use caramel for the bristles and we will use cocoa for the actual uh, length of the broomstick here. Now, the reason I'm choosing cocoa is because my friend Martin told me to. We're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, a chain of 15, and it's going to be triple crochet, triple, triple banded, not triple crochet. So take a single band first, 1, 2, and 3, wrap it around your band, your hook, three times like that. And then you're going to take three bands at a time and pop them on the end of your hook and slide the end cap over and reclaim, okay, like so. And then you're going to chain another 14, but each time, oh, broken band, you're going to take three, pop them on the end and chain. So that's two. Three, four, five, six. I hear my little kitten upstairs playing. <laughs> Seven. Oops, that's four bands. Eight. The reason I'm doing three at a time is to make it a little bit more sturdy. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's eight. This is nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and this is our last one, fifteen. Okay, now with fifteen, what we're going to do, I'm going to get a stitch marker. Now you can use a safety pin, you can use a paper clip, you can use a C clip, an S clip, whatever you have. You can just put a pencil holding them so that they don't uh, go anywhere. But I'm going to put something either side like this, all right? Now, this is where I'm coming to my other color and we need to make the amount in the middle. And it is guesswork. I'm going to pop one side of that on my hook and I'm going to take enough bands to just place on my hook to make this look full. So let's see, does that look about full? If I was to have that here, maybe a few more. I'm gonna count these when I've got, when I feel comfortable that I've got enough. Uh, 
probably about enough. So let's count how many we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Let's make it around twenty. So twenty bands. So with one side on your hook, you're going to place twenty bands on your hook like this. See, I would have never known it was 20 without you guys. It really is just a game of give and take and guesswork. Pop the other end, make sure you've got all three loops, okay, on the end of your hook here. You're going to take, um, what colour? We'll take dark brown, the, the cocoa again. We'll take two this time. And what we're going to do is go through these three loops here like so, then twist your hook up, move all those bands to the other side and twist them through like so, okay? One over the other inside here. You can take these off. And what we've effectively done is trapped these inside. So now we can actually take these, flip them over, make sure that all of the, and you need two. I've got one, I've lost a band somewhere. Where have you gone? There he is. You want both of these loops on. You're going to flip the caramel bands over, like so. And we're going to do a little knot here to tie these together, okay? That just needs to be tied together. And you could have actually done, we could actually do that in a caramel band so that it fits in with the rest of the bristles. So let's do that. Make sure I don't lose my loops here. Let's use a caramel band and then it will, we don't have to hide it, it just ties in. So like so, and then these flip back up, okay? And you make you can have your tie-off band on here as well. Put your hook back in, okay? Because what we're going to do is the same again, all right? So we're needing to get two, whoops, two bands. We're using the caramel. Pull through. Reclaim, reclaim. We can put one on the end of a stitch marker like so. This is going to bother me, it's it's a bit uh, long. What I might do, no, I'll leave it. <laughs> Get another 20 bands. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. making sure that you have the other two on your hook here, okay? We're going to thread these other 20 on. And then you're going to take, see we've got the little end cap here, a uh, stitch marker holding the other two. We're going to take those and push them back onto our clip, hook, not clip, hook. <laughs> it's a frazzling morning and we're going to do the same again. Here's our little, two, the two bands that we want to join with a caramel. Again, we're going to take it and we're going to do a knot to tie them together. Now what we need to do is make it look a little bit like a broom. I'm going to take this first, the, the first not the first, this is the first tie off band right here that we use that we've just sort of mushed in. This is the second one, but it's on the first set. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to wrap it around in this centerpiece, like where it joins together, like so. I'm going to take another, and you can use the darker brown for this so that it contrasts. 
and what we need to do is squish this this together these these front ones okay we're going to take our band and you want to go halfway between these and this will look like how when they used to make these brooms they would bind them together okay with rope so we're going to bind that together like so we're going to do the same on this one so we use the tie-off band to do that first part but now if we use a darker brown band so it contrasts we can go around and around make sure we don't trap something in there like so okay you can even these out a little bit now with these ones I actually um, cut them so that they looked and you, you can also go around here I put a few bands around the top but you don't have to that's completely up to you uh, as I mentioned I cut the ends of these to make it look like bristles again it's up to you with this one I did not this one I left whole these ones I did cut if you do cut them you run the risk that they can come out of their little uh, band that we have keeping them together here so you do run that risk there's nothing to keep them there but uh, it's up to you if you want to cut them and make them look like little bristles like I have here go for it otherwise you just keep it like this so that's the first one now the second one is much the same let me take it up and I should mention how you put it in there in their hand it's similar to the staff that we made for Joseph you're going to go from the bottom to the top of your witch of her hand you're going to pull apart in the actual skin tone part and pop it in and then you need to stretch this out so it doesn't look like her hand is uh, concaving in on itself so that's how we add that now the little wooden one is much the same um, and I've just kind of ruined this a little bit because I've got it all tied into each other but basically you there we go at the bottom of it you're doing the same as we did for the bottom of this but what we are doing is using single bands and trap one like this and one over the other and we're filling up our broomstick with single crochets like this now if you don't if this is a waste of bands to you um, all you need to do is use a uh, brown you can use a brown marker pen sharpie and just color it a darker brown or you can leave it it really doesn't matter okay but what you're going to do is that all the way th the length of it if you choose to if you don't choose to that's fine too what you are going to do is take your 20 bands or however many you choose to use 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20 take two slide these all on and reclaim so you have 20 on here okay excuse me little cat come on out the way go go <laughs> now what we need to do is we want our our um, piece of wood to go down the middle of these okay so our, our piece of wood has to sort of go in the middle here and then what we're going to do is take little cat being very annoying is take a band cocoa out of the way pull it through pull it through and reclaim the other side like that um, excuse me let me get rid of little cat who is trying to eat rubber bands so we've gone either side of it like so okay we're going to take another band pull it through around the back and this is one of the reasons why I kind of like having it so that you loom up 
the broomstick because you can hide things. <laughs> So if you're hiding things like this as we're going up, but that's just how I do it, which I suppose is why you're following me on here because you're wanting to know how I did it. <laughs> okay, so but at least this way it gives you options. I like to push them down because you still want that to be in the middle and to ensure that it's in the middle you can poke it through that uh, if you remember we have the the two the bands that go either side you can do that and poke it down the middle there like so now in order to keep it in place I'm just going to put a safety um, not safety pin a stitch marker in order to keep this in place, you can again get some bands and wrap around and you're actually then going to secure the little piece of wood as best you can with bands here in the middle. Okay, push it back through, stay there. Oh no! Come back. I want it through the middle there. You want to be careful that you don't push it too far down. You need it to have some room. Let me part this. There we go. Parting the Red Sea. Through the middle, mister. Thank you very much. And what we're going to do, put our hook in. Again. You're going to take two bands, pull through, one's going to stay on your hook, the other on the stitch marker, get another 20. So that's five, nine, ten, fourteen. Nineteen, twenty. Get the other end here. You got it. Pop on, just like we did for the first part of the broomstick. I'm going to move this inside so I'm away from the rest of those bands. I've just got my little tie-off bands here, and I'm going to tie these little loops off, like so. Again, I'm going to take this and wrap it around one, two. I'm going to go through here, and if I squidge this down and tie it around with a darker brown band, hopefully you're not going to see the little wooden skewer as much. While I like this version because the uh, end see how that's hidden. The end is uh, more solid to go through the arm. It is fiddlier. It is fiddlier to do. Make sure that you kind of squidge this so that you can't see the wood that's going through. Again I would not recommend cutting these but um, you've used your tie-off band to go around it once but I would go around it again with a darker band so that you have the contrast like so. Um, I would also go around the joining here. So it looks like it's been bound. Okay. You can go all the way up With, let me grab my stitch so you can go all the way up here. Oops, 
come the wrong way around. There we go, one over the other, join. If you have yarn, you could even do this with yarn and tie it off at the base. It's completely up to you. Sadly, you're not really going to be able to cover the tip of this. Maybe, I suppose, a blob of uh, a blob of glue would probably work if you were using your hot glue gun or something like that. Push these all down so that you can't see the skewer. And when you want to tie off, pull it through, go through. Around the back like so and then I just tied off by going round and round and round till I could get as far up to the end of the skewer as I could because this bit's going to go through the hand anyway And that is sort of as best as I could get it. And then likewise you poke it through her arm. And there is the other little broomstick version. I have to say, I think this one, the, uh, the first one, is easier. The second one I think looks nicer. So up to you which one you choose. Um, I look forward to seeing your little broomsticks. Like and subscribe, that would be superb. And I will see you in the next tutorial. We're going to be talking about poop. Take care. Bye.